African countries on both the Atlantic and the Western Indian Ocean coast face a range of threats ranging from piracy, drug trafficking to IOU fishing. There are also unconventional threats such as maritime accidents and abandoned ships. We have um, the international supported efforts within the capacity building activities. These agencies operate within three core areas. Uh, one is in the operational sector. So this would be uh, naval exercises like the Obangame Express or the Grand African Nemo. Another area is in terms of legal assistance to improve the skills of staff and personnel, judges to conduct the investigation and their prosecutions and, and so forth. Then another area uh, which is uh, equally important uh, has to do with the technological skills, specifically with regard to maritime domain awareness. The majority of countries in Africa have limited budgets and armies are often favoured over navies and coast guards during budget allocations. There was a period on the, on the continent that almost 80% of the continent was governed by army or army transited uh, governments. And that is what I think gave rise to that adage, the African sea blindness. Actually a radical uh, diversity of, of challenges that different countries are facing. I think one of the key challenges uh, in capacity building in particular continues to be the coordination challenge. This is mainly uh, understood as an international problem that all the donors should uh, better coordinate what they're, what they're doing. But it equally applies to the national uh, level. 